We don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand, you don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm... Not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way... Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine. Lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone... like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job! And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh yeah? Mate, I ain't Give me serious. some breathing room, will ya? He's a wolf I got a problem with. 
You needn't worry. He'll come around. And like cream before him, I'm sure he will... Bloody hell! This fucking guy! I was wondering when you'd turn up. I'm sorry, sir. He, he wouldn't let it's me... It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they scream. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. 